Okay, we're just kind of spraying this on and brushing it on. Make sure it gets in all the cracks and crevices. We're going to let it dry anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes, depending on temperature. Then we're going to come back out and we're going to put another coat on. Okay, I got a bunch on. It's all fiberglass here, up over his nose. We got one of the eyes. The other one we still have to do. And I ran out of fiberglass squares, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more resin and I got this whole roll I'm gonna have to cut into little pieces all right so I've cut up some more of the fiberglass squares and now I'm just putting them around in some places where I just want to have uh, lots of reinforcement and we are going to cover the whole thing though in up four layers of fiberglass because we want to build it up to a 1 16th of an inch So here it is, it's all finished in fiberglass. We did four layers of fiberglass. So this is gonna dry. And then once this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the bottom and up around the sides and over using this woven fiberglass matting. See that? This is a lot stronger than the, the, the um, chop strand matting. And they use this for strength, primarily like when they build boats and stuff. So we're gonna use that because we want this frame to be really sturdy. Well, it's the next day and everything is all hardened and stuff. What I wanted to show you was this, underneath the actual frame, I put some melamine. I have this long strip of melamine and I put it underneath the wood of the frame sticking out about an inch because the fiberglass resin will not stick to it. So now when I go to just pop this off, watch, this whole piece will just come right off. Okay, so now what's left is this little edge Okay, but I'm just going to cut that really nice with my uh, little Dremel tool with a saw blade and that's how we do that. So I'm going to put this piece of melamine now on this side, half under here, half out, so I can put my fiberglass over. Now I just had to sand this and some areas because there was some drips. And you don't want drips because if you have drips and then you try to go over it with the, with the fiberglass, you're going to have these like raised like bubbles. So I don't want that. So I just had to sand that down and then vacuum everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and install the rest of the mesh around here. <clears throat> then we're going to put mesh that's going to go from here out to here to this thing. We're going to cut perfect pieces and just drop them in. So one thing I'm doing is I'm making patterns. So I got this piece of paper down in here and it goes up the wall like I want it to because we want the, the fiberglass pieces to really blend well. And uh, I'm just gonna trace this onto my woven material. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, we're going to cut all these rough edges off because um, if I, it's smaller on the ends, see, because it had the curve from the tiki. So I just want to have a nice straight line. Okay, I got some pieces in. They're just not fiberglassed. They're just cut to fit. Um, now I'm going to pull out each one 
put my fiberglass down on my substrate and then I'm going to go ahead and put the pieces in. All right, I got all those pieces in place. When this hardens, I'm going to put the piece that goes here and over here. And that's going to be pretty much it. All right, it's the morning of the third day. This has got to dry for three days. And now I'm gonna take it outside and I'm going to sand any kind of rough edges off uh, where the, the fiberglass pieces may be little points sticking up and stuff. We're gonna sand that and then we're gonna separate the mold. I'm gonna take the, the very bottom piece of uh, wood. I think it's, um, it's like masonite and it's just stapled to the frame. So that's gonna come off. And then we could attempt to pop the whole thing off. So that's the plan, at least. I hope I didn't just waste my time. This, this, the only thing that could happen is if we can't separate the mold. But uh, that's why we filled all those little pinholes. I know it seems like a lot of work, but you know what? Anybody can do this. Anyone can do this. So I'm going to take it outside right now. Okay. Now we can start sanding all the little uh, pointy pieces though. They are pretty soft because I used surface seal. See, they flex. But some of them, I, you just, I don't want to get slivers. So I'm going to have to sand this whole thing lightly so that we could uh, flip it over. Okay, now this hard edge, the extra piece, we're just going to sand it off. Some of the glue, okay, so we pulled the glue off the base of the concrete head. That's good, we want this out. Now we just gotta take out this. Okay. Nothing stuck to it. Didn't stick to it because of the, the polyvinyl alcohol. Here it is with the light shining through it. And you can see we, we got all the parts that we wanted so that when we make our first tiki out of this, see all the reliefs? But these are the important things that I did not want to lose. I wanted to get all the wrinkles and the lines in the wood to make him look like he's made out of wood. See, it all stayed. So uh, that's how it turned out. I'm gonna bring it downstairs in my tiki room and maybe I'll put a light on it from the back and see how it looks in its native environment. Okay, I set it up in my house downstairs. I have like a tiki room with some, uh, a lot of Polynesian type of art and just a lot of really cool stuff but um, I wanted to see how this would look in this environment and it looks pretty cool and now that we have this mold 
we can create many of these out of fiberglass. They used to make these out of fiberglass, including the backing, and they would hang it on a wall and it would light up. Here's a picture of one on an old uh, fireplace. All right, everybody, stick around. Wait till you see the fiberglass projects I have lined up. They're going to blow your mind. So at that, I want to say thank you, all my new subscribers. If anyone has a question or a comment or anything like that, please don't hesitate to leave one. And I just want to wish everyone a great day. All right, take care.